Social Security Agency SASA is aiming fire at the Green, Greendrod Bank, which helps to facilitate payments to social grant recipients. This is the bank raised its bank fees from 6 Rand 91 to 10 Rand per month for recipients from April this year. These Green, Green, Greenrod accounts are in partnership with Cash Pay Master Services, for whom they help to facilitate the payments to grant recipients. Well, David Polkinghorn, he's the CEO of Greenrod Bank, and uh, he joins me now in studio to explain what's what. Thanks very much for joining us, David. Pleasure. Good stuff. So now, for some years now, you've been facilitating these uh, payments to some 5.4 million grant recipients. Uh, at the start of the, of the process, what was the fee structure exactly, and how much did the recipients have to pay per month towards um, the service? Um, and how has it evolved to now a situation of them having to pay 10 rand a month? Okay, I I'm conscious of the fact that we're going to be short on time, and there's so many stories around this. And, and it's quite a complicated process, so I'll try and simplify it. The, the process from the start was the contract between SASA and CPS was for 16 Rand 44 per account, and we facilitated, facilitated those accounts, and it was for all 10 million accounts that, that were involved in the grant beneficiary process. The beneficiaries played, paid nothing on those accounts, so the, so the monthly account fee was naught. So it's, it's an incorrect statement to say it's gone up from six rand ninety to ten rand. It, it hasn't gone up to that at all. It's gone from naught because SASA was paying that amount previously. Uh, we only ever earned 50 cents an account. So again, we've never earned the ten rand that's, that's being uh, put out there. And that, that's how it ran for, five, for the five years plus the extra one year. So what happened in mm. April of this year then? In April of this year, the contract, a large part of the contract between CPS and SASA was uh, was no longer in place so for those account holders there is now no no contract with sasa the the accounts so and sasa were hoping to be able to subsidize the accounts but through their processes were unable to do that mm. so we were left with no option but to levy an account fee to recover the costs of those accounts right so so from 1 april that account attracts a 10 rand charge so it's gone from naught to 10 rand that's that's the reality mm -hmm. for the beneficiary net one was receiving 1644 they now receive 9 rand 50 and we receive 50 cents still so so Greenwood bank is still earning the 50 cents which we earned six years ago that hasn't gone up but unfortunately the loser in this process is the beneficiary because notwithstanding sasso wanting to try and facilitate it they haven't been able to do that Okay, so SASA's acting CEO, uh, one Abraham Mathangu, has resolved to sue you for the extra uh, three rand nine cents uh, that's being imposed on grant recipients since April. You will obviously correct me if I'm wrong because mm. you've explained the dynamics mm. that up until April they were paying nothing. Mm. Okay, so uh, you seem to have rejected this in the strongest terms. Just state your case as to why. I mean, I think you've given us some mm. background, yeah. but what's your response? The response at the moment is that... that that we have a cost for that account as I say of nine Rand fifty that, that net one poses on us. Mm. They have their own costs. And there's some very real costs and risks. Because it now only relates to the five million recipients, or well it's now down to four, four odd million, of transitional recipients that are moving across to the new system. And in that process, net one is having to to support and maintain an infrastructure right up until the death. So they have very real costs. Let me come in there because mm. we're limited on time. Mm. Come September, the arrangement with CPS dissolves completely, mm -hmm. which could have an implication for you. Are you making efforts at all to try and retain the, some of the um, SASA beneficiaries that you uh, facilitate payments for, or it's not really worth your while? No, it's, it, it's definitely something we want to retain. And, but SAS, SASA's message is very clear, that their bank of choice going forward, or their partner of choice, would be the post office. But at the same time, beneficiaries have the ability to choose any bank they want to to go forward with and that will be a case of them choosing it on price service trust whatever whatever they would choose to move for and and we would hope to retain a large portion of those or, or at least a significant portion and if you were to retain them what sort of price would they have to pay on their account we'll then have to price it accordingly but we have we have an account at the moment that attracts six rand ninety one right. for a monthly fee
Okay, mm. and that's the easy that's pay. The easy pay everywhere and account. what's the benefit of that easy pay scheme? It's it's a fully interoperable account, so it, it operates like any other bank account would, a transactional bank account. So that's the benefit. All right. Well, all the best with that. No, well, thank you. Thanks very much, uh, David, for your time. That was uh, David Polkinghorn. He's the CEO of Greenrod Bank. And uh, after a short break, we'll have some market news for you.